Today on the first layer, we're going to be taking a look at an indoor grow tent that we're going to be using in some upcoming 3D printing projects, so stick around. Hey, welcome to the first layer. My name is Richard. I'm your host here every week. And on this program, we explore the world of 3D printing. And today's a little different. We are going to be taking a look at a grow tent from a company called Mars Hydro. Now, Mars Hydro has a lot of indoor horticultural equipment at very reasonable prices. And they've got warehouses all over the world so you can get their products really quick. But we're going to be talking about this tent today, and you're probably asking yourself, well, what does this have to do with 3D printing? Well, I'm going to get to that. And the reason that we are taking a look at this tent is because we're going to be using it to test plastics uh, in the very near future. And you can see here we've got one of our wonderful little toys right here. This is a self-watering pot that we're going to be using in this grow tent. We're also going to be talking about uh, different accessories for the tent that you can 3D print and that are freely available for you. So stick around, let's get into the review, and at the end of the review, we'll talk a little bit more. The Mars Hydro 2 foot by 2 foot by 4.5 foot grow tent arrived recently, and I'm pleasantly surprised by their attention to detail in this entry level grow tent. With their indoor gardening product range, Mars Hydro continues to elevate the bar, and I wanted to share my experience with you. This is a high quality tent with 1680D fabric construction. But it's difficult to tell for sure because the material feels different than conventional 1680D fabric. I chose this material because it has a smoother surface that is easier to clean and wash away. The interior of the Mars Hydro Indoor Grow Tent is comprised of a highly reflecting diamond mylar. Other brands mylar and reflective rates are as low as 50%, so they won't give you enough light. The 1680D canvas is tear resistant and double stitched for optimum light locking. The grow tent from Mars Hydro retains 100% of the light beams inside, allowing your plants to absorb more light. Other noticeable features are the three dual cinching dual sleeve duct ports, a small cord port that when closed keeps the light in the tent. It also has two ventilation ports that can be opened to allow fresh air to circulate through the grow tent with built-in mesh screen and cloth to shield light. A removable waterproof floor tray is included in the packaging to collect soil and falling leaves. The removable and water resistant tray may be simply washed. Metal corner adapters and poles are the tent stalwart supports, remaining firm, no rusting or peeling paint, and allowing for quick tool-free setup, and clear instructions are provided. Heavy-duty SBS zippers are used in Mars Hydro Grow Tents to withstand many openings and closings. I didn't notice any light leaks with my test tent. This is the perfect size for a small arrangement or isolating a mother plant. You'd have a wonderful little setup to get started growing when you pair it with the Mars Hydro TS-1000 LED grow light. If you're just getting started with indoor gardening, it's best to start small and work your way up. People frequently buy a four foot grow tent and only use half of it, forcing them to figure out how to divide the grow tent down the middle. In the event of a quality issue, they additionally provide a 30 day unconditional return. At just under $83 Canadian, the Mars Hydro 2 foot by 2 foot by 4.5 foot grow tent is a great value and could be placed almost anywhere without getting in the way. So what are my concerns? Well, I really would have liked to seen this tent be a little bit taller. At 4.5 feet, it's not quite tall enough if you wanted to grow some kind of vine plant or a tomato plant or something along those lines. So I think that if Mars Hydro is going to move forward with this size, I'd really like to see a five or a six foot vertical height in the tent. And that really is my only complaint about this particular product. It does cover all the bases and you'll be able to grow whatever you like inside the tent. Well, I hope you liked that look at the Mars Hydro 2x2x4.5 two by two by foot grow tent. This grow tent has got all the features, but it could be 
just a little bit better. And we're going to improve on that design with some accessories in an upcoming uh, episode that we are going to print for this. And I'm going to show you how to print them, what I printed them out of, and how well they work. So until I see you next time, please remember that the first layer is always your foundation to a gray print, and I'll see you next time.